Now you will see the differences between structured and unstructured storage and how to choose between them in the cloud. Structured data is what most people are used to working with and typically fits within columns and rows in spreadsheets or relational databases. You can expect this type of data to be organized and clearly defined and is usually easy to capture, access, and analyze. Examples of structured data would include names, addresses, contact numbers, dates, and billing information. The benefit of structured data is that it can be understood by programming languages and data can be manipulated relatively quickly. It's estimated that around 80% of all data is unstructured. It's far more difficult to process or analyze unstructured data using traditional methods as there's no internal identifier to enable search functions to identify it. Unstructured data often includes text and multimedia content, for example, email messages, documents, photos, videos, presentations, web pages, and so on. Organizations are focusing increasingly on mining unstructured data for insights that will provide them with a competitive edge. This flowchart shows the decision tree for determining based on the use case, which storage solution would be utilized. If you need a solution to hold files, backups, logs, and blobs, for example, a good unstructured solution would be cloud storage. If you need a structured solution and are utilizing workload analytics, BigQuery and Cloud Bigtable are two options. If a relational database is needed, then you can choose either a traditional managed MySQL or PostgreSQL database using Cloud SQL or use a horizontally scalable, highly available database like Cloud Spanner. If you need a simple NoSQL option to use for your application, Cloud Data Store is a solid choice. In the topics that follow, you will learn more about each option.